Get a nigga whack, I ain't got play tough. You used to be rich, but you fucked it all up. Him this year ain't been a whole month. Can't be mad, you just gotta catch up. Your whole price fucked it. YouTube, back with another video. I ain't gonna lie, it's been good about like two weeks since I uploaded, but just life be life and life be life and bro. Y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, I'm gonna be breaking down my viral 101 sweatpants. And I'm not gonna lie, them sweatpants are still selling to this day. But yeah, I'm gonna give y'all the whole process, how I came out with the ideas, inspiration, everything. New to the channel, my name is Cam, I own the brand One Studios. But doing my clothing brand, I've been doing this clothing brand, it's One Studios for about, hold on, it's gonna be like two years now. Yeah, it's gonna be about two years now. One year, one of them. I don't know, I just took off like last year, but yeah, I've been in the brand space for like three or four years though. But another yapping brand community discord is in the description if y'all want to join that. Also, my ebooks, IG ads tutorial, manufacturer I'm currently working with, and then the mindset ebook for your clothing brand and like a clothing brand mindset ebook. All that's in the description. Like I said, I'm gonna give y'all this whole process, break down this whole process for y'all. Let's get straight to the video. So, boom, we finna go way back to like 2023 way back i mean like last year <laughs> we're gonna go last year to 2023 literally around this time it's like it's saturday june 15th yeah we're gonna go way back to june mind y'all if y'all didn't know in june i dropped some sweat i mean in june i dropped some shorts one-on-one -on -one shorts i dropped these shorts right here this was like when the momentum started picking up for my brand because like y'all can see just look at the picture bro like i did my thing with that picture but that's when the momentum started picking up for my brand. People started saying I was copying Caprice and all that stuff. I got inspiration. Like, inspiration is everywhere in the clothing brand space. You can't really be original in the clothing brand space because it's inspiration everywhere. You just add your, you literally just add your own twist to it, which was the meaning of my brand. I added it to own. That was my 3% rule. That's what they be talking about, the 3% rule. Yes, that was my 3% rule. I just added my meaning of my brand. And I added like colors and stuff too, so. So mind you, it's June though. I just dropped my shorts, I'm selling my shorts. But I had this thought in the back of my head, like, I can't survive off these shorts because what, what am I going to do when it get, like, cold or something? So, yes, I had the thought process in, like, June. I didn't start putting everything in the plan, actually, to, like, July because, look, so June, I did my pre-order on my shorts. It was, like, two weeks. I did, like, a two-week pre-order or something like that. But, yeah, that was in June. And then I closed the website. Waiting on my book, I had time to think, like, I got to come up with something new. I got to come up with something new. Mind you, people was wanting to restock on the shorts also, though. So I had to come up with something new while preparing for a restock. I restocked my shorts in July, dropped in June, did that job, and then I did a restock in July. While I'm waiting for my book to come from the June first, like the first orders from June, I'm like, I gotta think of something new. Think of something new. So I'm like, I have to think of something because like, after these shorts, I'm gonna have to like drop something else. So boom, July come around, I did my restock. I did my restock at the beginning of July, I'm pretty sure on my shorts. Mind you, I was going crazy in July. Y'all see that? Y'all can't see it. Plus 50 orders to fulfill. So boom, I did my July shorts. After the restart, that's when I had more time to think. I was like, that that thought from June, like I have to drop something because it's gonna get cold. That, that literally, that thought, it came back into my head. That's when I started putting it like to action. So July 12th, I came up with the one-on-one -on -one sweatpants, the whole design. I'm finna give y'all like, where I got inspiration from, break down, all that stuff. So my shorts. Oh, they did good, so I'm thinking like, why not just turn these shorts into sweatpants? Because if the shorts did good, sweatpants might do good too. So I just took the meaning, like I said, the meaning of my brand, put it on the sweatpants. This one like an easy process. This is like a two, like a two to three month process because like I had to figure out the GSM type of print, tags, shipping label. I mean, shipping labels. GSM, the type of print, all that stuff, colors and everything. So that's it. Oh, this is July. Came up with these colors right here that color you know the black this color it did not make the cut i don't know why i didn't make it but like that color hard though this color did not make it. oh i know what happened my manufacturer i don't know he messed that sample all the way up but yeah i might have to reconsider dropping it that's kind of hard to me got all the colors right here all the colors uh order my samples for the sweatpants in july i don't think i really knew nothing about the gsm i just told him to do like 350 gsm cotton fleece so i knew I, um, there's two different cottons fish cherry cotton cotton fleece and I just figured out there's another type of French cherry. I literally just learned that with a sample I just ordered. And that sample was absolutely like terrible. But I learned a new material. Like it's a learning process. So the brand thing is a learning process. You learn something new every single time. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all these sweatpants samples. Bro, look at these sweatpants samples. Like she made this for a kid. I can't wear this. I'm six foot. Like who finna wear this? These must go to like right here. They stop like right here on me. But I learned a new material. These some cool. I gotta fix a whole bunch with these. I ain't gonna count, but. Cool pants, cool pants. Now let me get into like the inspiration part. So, oh, I ain't gonna count. I ain't gonna lie. I got inspiration from Vertebrae and it's okay to get inspiration in a brand space. Like I said, it's inspiration, bro. There's inspiration like everywhere in the clothing brand space. So honestly, if some of yours look like somebody else's, there's really like no problem with that. Y'all just gotta like market differently. 
it really don't matter nowadays because like everybody make a clothing brand everybody made a clothing brand now but all your most of y'all design look the same and stuff all working the same like y'all gotta switch up something that's all i gotta say but yeah um I got inspiration from vertebrae vertebrae i'm gonna put like a picture of like the exact sweatpants i got inspiration from it's the black and white ones you can see like their text is going down their legs so i was like hmm what if i put like my meaning of my brand going down his legs too i ain't gonna lie this side right here the double o uh, i didn't really know if i wanted to do like a double o or like the text i use on my shorts which says a person that thing like no other yeah it took me like a month to decide that not like a month it probably took like a week or two because like i'm real indecisive so i had to figure out if i want to do the words or i want to just do like the double o's so yeah i stuck with the double o's that i can see though and yeah, everybody rocking with it so this was august when i like got the samples and i started doing like previews and all that stuff Mind y'all, I wanted to drop in August, but I couldn't drop in August because the book for my shorts took so long. I don't know why. Colors, I just really just came up with a whole bunch of like trending colors, something like that. My shorts was just all over the place. So I just did some random colors. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't even supposed to have that orange colorway. It was supposed to be yellow, I'm pretty sure. I have the yellow sample somewhere, I don't know. Just, it wasn't even supposed to be in it. Like, I wasn't even supposed to drop the orange, I'm pretty sure. Y'all can really see on the sweatpants, like, if y'all go to my brand Instagram, y'all can see, like, the metal tips are on the strings. I had to change a lot. It was like a whole little process because I had to figure out the print, the GSM type of strings I wanted to do. And y'all can see the strings, like they were the metal tips. I had to change them to flat strings. Samples were cool. The samples were real cool. That book got absolutely like cooked. Then nigga sent me the, he sent me like, I don't know what color it was, but it was not pink. It's like, I don't know. He, Pakistan, bro. Let me say Pakistan. They take what you say. I don't know what be going through their brains. They just take what you say and run off with it. Like, told this man pink. He sent me magenta. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, we, we fixed that situation and all that stuff. He was like, keep all the magentas. You keep all the magentas. I would resend every single pink order. But I had to refund some order. Some people accepted magenta. But it was a cool, it was like a cool experience. Like, you can't have the highs without the lows. So like, every, I feel like every brand owner got their own experience. Like, some bad experience. Like, just bad samples. Some didn't come out to their expectations. I feel like every brand owner got their own experience. And then, bro, people were asking for a restock on the BK to Rula Tees. Like, they slept on it when it first dropped. Now everybody want to restock. I think I might do a little BK to Rula Tee restock. Next video, I got to get y'all that manufacturer video. Uh, if y'all haven't already, hop on Reels. I'm staying a student. I got to stay a student to the game for like a few more months just because Shopify. They teaching me something. They, they telling y'all, they telling y'all, like, they took me out the brand game for a reason. So I got my samples in August, like I said, but I didn't really drop till like the end of September. So I really took like a whole month of just like preparation and all that stuff. Oh yeah, I got a picture of those gray and black sweatpants right here. These are the gray and black sweatpants. Like, come on, bro. Where y'all see the gray at? Y'all see the black, but where the gray? Anyways, yeah. And this when I first got my tattoo too, which is crazy. Crazy, this is a whole year ago. Like August and like the beginning of September, I took like the time to like prepare and all that stuff. Like I was getting my content. I'm pretty sure I had already uploaded like, pic no, I don't think I uploaded pictures of all this stuff already. But yeah, I was getting my content, preparing all my content. I had everything ready beforehand, ready to go. That's all I really did August, the end of August and like the beginning of September. Cause I didn't really drop to the end of September. I did two drops in September. The BK the Realty was dead. Like it didn't meet my expectations, but like I don't know, it just wasn't my expectation. But like sweatpants, it did like probably like five times that. So I wasn't really tripping about it. You gonna have good jobs, bad jobs. It's just a part of the clothing brand game. Like, some of y'all need to read this book. Still like an artist. Cause I should be still like an artist. I literally got inspiration to do this video. Some of y'all probably wondering why I haven't dropped and like who knows, like three or four months, bro. My payments are a whole by Shopify, so I can't really do nothing. And mind y'all, I was just about to switch to pre-made. Shopify hit me with that email. I'm like, come on, bro. Why me? Why me? Like, I'm doing everything right. Like, why me? But yeah, they hit me with the Shopify Rico. So I my papers on hold for a little bit. I really just been analyzing the brand game. Can't drop none. So just go back to what I was doing before I used to drop clothes, which is research. But I'm telling you, I'm not dropping again probably to like September. That's a long time. But like, hey, I got to do what I got to do, bro. Uh, analyze the brand game. Just brainstorm, plan. It's all gonna pay off, so I'm not really tripping. All my stuff, still know. I still got my stuff on the website. It's just my payments are hold, so I'm just keep selling, and then my payments get off home. Order my pre-made drop that I'm about to do. These sweatpants are going bye bye, like bye bye for a little bit, few months probably. Bye bye, cause we got some new stuff on the way, like a whole bunch of new stuff on the way. And last year, it was really just like the start of my brand. 
I feel like I started something with them sweatpants last year. Gotta finish it. I grew my brand to like, I literally grew my brand to like 15K in probably like a year and a half probably. Yeah, year and a half. I just hit 10K in like January. Now I'm at like 15K. Some of y'all need to read this book, Still Like an Artist. Yeah, it's okay to get inspiration out in the clothing brand space. As long as you add your 3%, that 3% rule, really all I got, that's how I got my, that's really my design process, how I broke down everything. That's really it, this video, that's all I got. Like I said though, it's okay to take inspiration though. Ain't nothing wrong with taking inspiration. You gotta take inspiration, take inspiration. Mostly I'll just be full on copying each other, that's why it don't work. Everybody's trying to market the same, everybody's trying to do the same thing, that's why it don't work. I mean, one of y'all gonna have to step outside the box, something like that. Y'all can't all do the same thing. Y'all got the same hooks, same everything, like, I don't know. But yeah, that's the end of this video. That's really my whole design process. How I came up with the one-on-one -on -one sweatpants. I scaled those sweatpants. They're still selling to this day. They're selling organically too, because I'm not running ads. I can't run ads, bro. Like, you mind you, my payments are on hold. If I run ads, can't get my funds, it's gonna eat up my account. And I just gotta wait, but I'm not gonna do that. And mind you, them bulks be getting expensive, bro. Them bulks are real expensive. Especially when you run ads and you're doing the pre-order method, it's like crazy expensive, but it all pay off. Everybody, keep working, you can get one of these. End of this video though, catch y'all next video, it should be soon, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna say it should be soon, just whenever I upload, I'm looking at my board, like when I'm supposed to be uploading, I'm supposed to be uploading like the 24th, the next video is supposed to be the 24th, this one should be out Monday, and I already dropped once this video, I mean once this month, I already dropped once this month, I'm trying to debate if, like, I don't know, it just depends on how I'm feeling, so, yeah, catch y'all next video, see y'all in the next video, I'm out.